Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today let's talk about a player and not a normal player, a special player. Let's talk about Leon Dreiseidel today. This guy whose jersey I have here in the Oilers Reverse Retro, hand stitched by Cool Hockey. This is a wonderful jersey. I love the customization. Absolutely fantastic. And I wanted this player's jersey. That's why I didn't order the jersey anywhere else but Cool Hockey. So let me put it on and then let's talk about Leon. This jersey is fantastic. It feels so good wearing it. Okay, Leon Dreiseitel. Born October 27th, 1995. So he's right now at the day of recording, 26 years old, so he's in the middle of his prime. He's a fantastic player, leading scorer right now in the NHL, but let's have a look at the history. He played his uh, youth in uh, Germany, of course, in uh, Cologne, where he was born. Then he was transferred to the Adler Mannheim, where he played German juniors. He started there in 2009 and played for three seasons until 2012. Then, at this point, he was 16 years old. Then came the 2012 CHL International Draft, where he was picked second by the Prince Albert Raiders of the WHL. He played uh, in the 2012-2013 season, 64 games for the Raiders, 21 goals, 37 assists for 58 points, and he was a plus 22, which is really impressive for a then 16 to 17 year old who is playing his first season in North America. 2013 2014, again for the Raiders, 64 games played, 38 goals, 67 assists, 105 points. For a uh, to be drafted player, this is this are very good stats. I think he was pretty happy. And so were some NHL teams like the Edmonton Oilers that drafted him third overall in 2014. He made the roster right out of camp, but it didn't work out that well for the Oilers. He played 37 games, only two goals, seven assists for nine points. So he was sent back to juniors. He was sent back to the Raiders, but they traded him then to the Kelowna Rockets. At this point, being sent back to juniors, he was quite upset. I don't know he was a if he was upset that vocal in the, in Canada, but here in Germany, yeah, he was. He was pretty angry and the press reported on it quite a lot. I remember that quite well. However, he accepted the challenge. He went through the junior season with the Rockets playing 32 games, 19 goals, 34 assists for 53 points, but he was a minus 17. Hmm. But in the WHL playoffs, his talent finally broke through. 19 games played in the playoffs, 10 goals, 18 assists, 28 points. And he was the 2015 WHL playoff MVP. The Rockets won the WHL trophy and went on to the Memorial Cup, where he played five games, four goals, three assists for seven points. And although they did not win the cup, they uh, ended up losing the final. He was named the tournament MVP in the Memorial Cup 2015. Not bad. So 2015-2016 rolled around and he did not make the Oilers out of camp. He again was quite vocal about that in Germany. I don't know if in Canada as well. Here the press again Oh, what are they doing with, with uh, Dreisaitl? Why don't they let him play? Oh man, the Oilers are so evil. He played for the Bakersfield Condors. Six games, one goal, one assist, one assist, two points, and he was a minus five. So, no good stats at this point. Due to uh, injuries, he then got called up to the Oilers. Ended up playing 72 games, 19 goals, 32 assists, 51 points, Ending a minus two, which is which was okay for an Oilers team that was not that good in this year, but this was his breakthrough. Finally, he showed his talent at the NHL level, and uh, people recognized his talent. Then, 2016-2017, 
Again with the Oilers, all 82 games played, 29 goals, 48 assists for 77 points. He was a plus 7. In the playoffs, 13 games, 6 goals, 10 assists, 16 points and a plus 8. Quite impressive. The Oilers made it to the second round but got eliminated. But Leon broke a record this season. He scored the most points by a German-born player in one regular NHL season. Record was previously held by my guy from Mansut, Marco Sturm, who had scored 59 points in the 2005-2006 season. The record then went to Leon Dreisaitl with 77 points. And since then, he is improving his own record. He also got awarded in 2017 with an eight-year contract extension for eight and a half million dollars. Seemed a little bit high at the time. Right now, he, his contract is the biggest bargain of them all in the NHL. And he's making eight and a half million dollars. With the points he's producing right now, I think he could make Connor McDavid money. This would be absolutely legit. He's so good. Anyway, 2017-2018, the Oilers fell then out of the playoffs again. Leon played 78 games, 25 goals, 45 assists, 70 points and a minus 7. On a not that good team. Yeah, consolidation season. 2018-2019, he really took off. 82 games played, 50 goals, 55 assists for 105 points. And he was a plus 2. On an Oilers team that did not make the playoffs, but seeing a 50 goal scorer being only a plus two, his defense was not up to the standard. So go, let's go to the 2019-2020 season. 71 games, 43 goals, 67 assists, 110 points, and he was a minus seven. On an Oilers team that at this time was not bad. They made the playoffs but got elim eliminated in the qualifying round by the Blackhawks. Four games for Leon, three, three goals, three assists, six points and a plus one. So it was not on him that the Oilers didn't make it past the qualifying round. Anyway, with 110 points, oh, I didn't mention. 1819 was his first All-Star game. 1920, his second All-Star game. Uh, for the 2019-2020 season, he won uh, the Art Ross with 110 points. He won the Hart and the Lindsay and was named here in Germany Sportler des Jahres, so uh, Sportsman of the Year for 2020. And this was only the second time that a uh, team sports player who does not play football slash soccer won this award here in Germany. And the first was, of course, yeah, number 41, Dirk Nowitzki. I think you heard about this guy. He was quite good as well. So, 2020-2021, Leon played all 56 games, 31 goals, 53 assists, 84 points, and a plus 29. In this season, 2020-2021, his defensive game made a huge jump. That's why I would have nominated him for the Selkie Award, because of this big step, having a 105-point season, uh, sorry, having a 110-point season being a minus 7 to having an 84-point season going a plus 29, this was significant. And this was, I think, the last step that missed in his game. Now, with the defensive game being where it is right now, he definitely has to be considered for the heart every year. He is McDavid level. He is that good. Showing it again this year, 2021, 2022. At the day of recording, what do we have today? Ah. November 26th. 19 games played, 20 goals, 20 assists, 40 points, and a plus 13. Sky is the limit. Not only for Conor McDavid, who can score 150 points this season, Leon Dreisaitl can do it as well. And uh, the discussions can be up. Who is the better player? The better, the better overall player? Is it McDavid or is it Dreisaitl? 
having these two guys on one team, yeah, that's almost unfair. They can score at will at the power play. They can score at will five on five. They are fantastic. I think with uh, McDavid's game being already there and Leon pushing up his game starting last year, now the Oilers are a real contender. And it's not only about McDavid, it's also about Leon Dreisaitl. And that his contract with eight and a half million dollars is a bargain. All right, that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And see you soon with another video about hockey on the channel. Next one will be a jersey ranking coming up in three days. Then we will talk about the Pacific Division and the Oilers are of course in. So thanks again for watching. Have a good time. See you soon. Goodbye.